Noble's in the building. I'm getting to know you today. Yo. First time meeting you. Um, are you from? We're in Minnesota right now. You're repping the Gophers on your hoodie. Are, are you yeah. born and raised in Minnesota? Yeah, I was born in Big Lake, Minnesota. Okay. So it's that, like a small, weird town. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah. That, that would explain kind of your ties with Party Alone. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I grew up with um, that. Was what, what, what's Big Lake like, in your opinion? <sighs> I mean, like, I don't have anything against it. Uh, it's kind of like a weird town. It's like kind of like hit country, like some oh. people. But then there's like also like some like fun like groups of guys that I fuck with. Like we used to hang out at the skate park a lot. And that was kinda how like I met party and shit and it was just a fun like time with them. But what was like your class size in high school? Like two two fifteen maybe? Two twenty five I think, something like that. Okay. So kinda uh, that's around where mine I think mine was like almost three hundred. I'm from Mankato. Yeah, it wasn't big. So not like super big town. Um do you what was the mu what was the music scene like in Big Lake going through high school? Like how did No bro, no one made music. If you made music, they're clowning you for sure. Like it was people were shit on you like crazy, but then like it kinda worked out because there's like a couple of us, like me, Party, this guy named Josh, JG, I don't know if you know who that is, uh Gavin, Species, like we all kinda started making music around the same time. And then we all kinda like met each other, became friends and then like grew that way. I think I so, saw like, Species Chris is tough. On yeah. Instagram. Yeah, he's sick. He's just a younger guy, but yeah, he's doing well. And I mean, yeah. Durston's cool too. He's from Big Lake. He's younger though. He's yeah, like, Durst, uh, that's the young kid. That yeah. I'm, but he's like crazy good for how young he is yeah. though. I bumped into him, I think, I don't know if it was the first time I bumped into him. Well, actually, yeah, it was before the party loan pop up that mm -hmm. we did. But I met him at, uh, I did media and like shit and vlogged the Trippy Red tour with Sofago. And he was a huge Sofago fan. He had his hair oh, yeah. dyed like Sofago and everything. And I think that's how I met him the first time. He was like, yo, like, whatever message me seeing the content mm -hmm. was like, yo, like, something about, like, can you, can I, how do I meet Sofago? Yeah. How do I tap in? Shit like that or something. And I was like, yeah, this is a young kid that's really hip with what's going on. And then mm -hmm. I just seen recently that he's making music. Um, but he, did you say he was from Big Lake too? Or he's from, I think he's from Big Lake. He's at least around for sure. Yeah, because he seemed to know about Party Alone. Oh, yeah. as, you know, and then as a young kid, like to be that hip with like someone that's rising out of Minnesota. Exactly. It would make yeah, sense if he's from Big We all met out at uh, 11th Creative. It was the first time I ever met him. And then okay. we, Durson just like hopped in the studio and then just made a song. And we were all just like hyping him up. And I made him a cover art for it and it was sick. Fire. But yeah. Um, how did you get into music? Like you said, you would get clowned for it in Big Lake. So what was yeah. the motive to, I guess, so, like, do music and not care about what people, th people say? Damn, I don't even, bro, I'm surprised I made it this far. Like, no one, like, I wasn't making, like, that good of music back then. So, like, people would, like, shit on it pretty hard. And, like, I don't know how, I just kept going, bro. I just loved it. Like, that was all I wanted to do. Like, I'd get home from school, I'd just record. But, like, I got into it. It was kind of just, like, my friend group would, like, we'd just get, like, kind of, like, we'd smoke and then we'd freestyle. And, like, I was, like, kind of better at it than the rest of them. So I just... You know, I just kept going, and then I made a song, and then showed it to them. I didn't drop anything for like probably like a year, though, going into it. But then I started putting stuff out on Spotify, uh, no SoundCloud. But so yeah. like, you started like what, in like 2018, 2019 is when you maybe because I seen your like your first release on Spotify was like 2020. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I guess 2018, 2019 was probably when I started. Yeah, and then I guess like the latest I scrolled back, at least seen on your phone. Or not on your phone, on, on your Spotify was like the song you have a party alone in twenty twenty. Emotions, yeah, I believe so, right? Yeah, emotions. I definitely had. I had other songs. So I've had, before that, I had the first song I ever put out mm -hmm. on Spotify was called God's Plan, and I took that down. Damn I took Drake down. Stole your song, bro? For real? I can, nah, maybe it didn't. I don't remember when that came out, but imagine your hook is the exact same as Drake's hook. Bro, that would've been way better than the hook I put down on that thing. That shit was bad. I could. I was like. My auto tune was always out of key. Like I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Mm -hmm. And then I dropped another album after that called Under Influence. Mm -hmm. And that one actually ain't bad. That's still on my SoundCloud, but I did take that down too. So uh -huh. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot there's like a growth stage in a lot of artists' career where they start taking down old SoundCloud songs yeah. that maybe just don't represent them the best anymore mm -hmm. or even just rebrand completely. I think I'm about early to, stage. Like I'm low key about to do that soon. I think I might take down a lot of my old stuff. Probably my I think too earlier the blue lights album and summer tapes are not gonna stay up for very long bro i want that pretty toxic revolver song gone i cannot stand that song bro yeah i i think that there's like a 
Well, there, there's like a cool thing in seeing the growth though mm -hmm. like for the fans oh, yeah. to be like oh wow this is where he started and now he's making really really mm -hmm. you know perfectly sound music mixed correctly yeah you know he figured out his sound and because mm -hmm. there's artists that are in your 2018 stage yeah. right now that <laughs> want to see that there is a chance for them to grow and if they see that you went from that to where you're at yeah. now they can maybe feel like oh i could do it you know like there's always those like memes of like the first ever Playboy Cardi music video, or oh, you know, yeah, shit those like, like that. those videos they surface, you like know, the compilations, like, yeah. like the first song and the song that blew them up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like you know, there 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 is, I think, a cool thing in having those out there mm -hmm. for people to find, but like also making it maybe hard to find is kind of cool mm -hmm. too. Like if you took it off your main page, but released yeah, it that's my plan. I'm, I might just something. leave. I think I'm gonna leave everything on like SoundCloud. Yeah. I'd be forgetting to put stuff on SoundCloud a lot because it's starting to fade out. It's I didn't I can't stand SoundCloud, yeah. bro. How do uh,